Who was set for the judgment by presiding judge Eric J. Bafo on the case which has spanned from October 2019? Before he could give his judgment, however, Justice Che Bafo noted that his attention had been brought to an agreement by the state and the first accused, citing Section 35 of the Court Act 459, a decision he raised red flags with. Per the terms of settlement, the founder of Capital Bank had agreed to refund the 90 million CDs which he had taken from the bank in 2015 in installments for one year. But Justice Eric J. Balfour rejected the agreement, noting that the value of the dollar to the CD in 2015 was three Ghana CDs, and hence paying the same 90 million CDs in 2022 will make crime attractive. He also noted that Section 35 of the Courts Act cannot be activated since the money does not belong to the state. Deputy Attorney General Alfred Tiyoyabwa reacted following the court's order. Despite the overtake that first accused person made to us to the first through the case, go to the end of the case, then he brought in this last minute proposal to be for what might be or but of course, subject to the fashion of the court. So the accused, first accused especially, they didn't start his invitation yesterday. He's been coming and then going. But it's rather maybe to his benefit that the last proposal that he made in Yasa. We're going to look at the, uh, 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 the figures again, then we look at the options again. Two things. Either we have a better one, or we drop the whole thing for the judge to proceed the matter and then look at where the task force. The court has since deferred judgment to December 13 for the state to revise the terms of agreement with the accused person. All three accused persons, William Atu Asian, Fitzgerald Odonko, and Tete Nete, were present in court. The trio are standing trial for siphoning liquidity support of 620 million cities bailouts given by the Bank of Ghana between June 2015 and November 2016. They have pleaded not guilty. Lord Edward Sari, TV3 News, Accra High Court.